So you want to make this amazing meal for date night. And you want to make sure that the meal is really simple because you want to get to the date, right? I have just the thing. I'm going to be making spaghetti carbonara tonight. And basically, it's this Italian pasta dish that's really simple, really delicious. And everything here, you probably already have at home. So we're going to get started with the bacon. I have four slices of thick cut bacon. And I'm just going to get these cut into little strips. So just get the bacon cut into strips. So we're going to get this bacon into a hot pan. I'm going to get one teaspoon of olive oil in first. You don't need a lot because the bacon is going to make its own fat. And get the bacon straight in. Just get everything loosened up. So we're going to let this bacon cook for about three to four minutes and then we're going to get some other ingredients in. So the bacon has been cooking for about three minutes and now I want to get one third cup of red onion in. So here's the red onion. I basically diced it up. I want to get that straight into the bacon and let them kind of cook down. Bacon, onion, you can't go wrong with that. So I bet you're wondering, what is she about to do with some eggs? Well, I have two eggs in this bowl and that is going to create a really good sauce for the carbonara. So, got the two eggs here. I'm going to whisk them up a little bit. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of black pepper. This is where the name carbonara comes from, the little black specks in the pasta. Get that in. Incorporate that pepper. Now for the cheese. This is one cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Get that into the egg and just kind of incorporate it. So when you finish stirring the cheese with the egg and black pepper, it should look something like this. Thick, kind of creamy from that cheese. And this is our secret weapon to that really delicious sauce. So the bacon and onions are looking pretty good right now. I have a couple other things that I want to get into this recipe. First, I want to get some frozen sweet peas into the deal. It's just my own personal spin because, you know, I happen to like sweet peas. And then we're going to get one whole Roma tomato that has been diced. Get that in. Check out those colors, y'all. Just going to toss all that together. This day night dinner is looking good, y'all. So, I got those tomatoes and those sweet peas into this mix. Everything is cooking together. All those flavors are coming together. I'm going to let that continue to go for a couple more minutes. Okay, so as you can see, I have my water boiling back here. And this is for my pasta. I already put a little bit of salt in the water. That's the only salt you need in this recipe. I have here six ounces of thin spaghetti. You can use any type of pasta you want, but I'm choosing to use thin spaghetti because it's one of my favorites. So I'm just going to take that pasta. I'm going to break mine in half and just... Drop it into the water. I'm going to let that pasta cook for about six minutes according to the package instructions or until al dente. And then we'll get this meal pulled together. The pasta is ready to be drained, but first we need to do one very important step and that's save some of that good pasta water. And just take two cups of that pasta water. Leave that there because that's going to help us make the sauce later. So I'm going to get this out of the way, get this drained. Okay, so the pasta has been drained. Now I'm going to get that pasta straight into the pan with the rest of the ingredients. So just take the pasta, put that in. Once you get the pasta in, kind of toss it with that bacon, that tomato, those peas. This is very simple, y'all. Date night is going to be popping tonight. 
So once you have everything combined, be sure to remove the pasta off of the heat. So we took the pasta off of the heat and now we're going to add that sauce that we made with the egg, the cheese, and the black pepper. Get this straight in and before you get it in, stir your pasta in a circular motion. Just stir, stir, stir. Then begin to pour that mixture in slowly while constantly stirring with your tongue. Keep it moving in a circle. Okay, that's all of that. So again, once you add that egg in, you want to keep the pasta moving because if you don't keep the pasta moving, you're gonna have scrambled eggs, and we do not want scrambled eggs. So get it back on to medium heat. Continue to stir. And you remember that water we preserved? Just take one or two ladles at a time and get it into the pan. And this is just gonna make the sauce even more silky than what it is. Just go around. And as you can see, it came together very nicely. Our eggs did not scramble. All the ingredients are incorporated. And that's why stirring is very important in this recipe. I'm going to get one more ladle of that pasta water in. And I'm going to continue to stir. And we're warming this through because we did put eggs in here. So we're gonna get it back up to temp before we serve it. So I'm gonna get everything served. I wanna take that beautiful spaghetti carbonara and get it into a cute little dish. Look at that. All that bacon, those peas. Okay, I want to get just a touch more of Parmesan cheese on top and a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. And of course, black pepper because this is carbonara. So we got this beautiful date night meal ready to go. I have my carbonara here with a little breadstick on the side. And then I have just a mixed green salad with cherry tomatoes dressed with a little bit of Italian dressing. Let me try the spaghetti carbonara. Mmm. The saltiness from the bacon, everything comes together just perfectly. And of course, you know I had to have the wine. Got a glass of Moscato. On that note, I gotta go. Cause after all, it is date night. Thanks for watching.